Okay, and welcome to another Cool Dude Clem video. And the subject of the video today is, if you hadn't guessed, is this old computer. Now, I've had a request to do a video about this, so that's what I'm doing. But just before I hook this thing up and show you what it can and cannot do, let's take a little look inside. So here we are taking a brief look in the computer. Now this one has a Pentium 2 running at 450 MHz. And the cards we've got here, this is the video card. Unfortunately it's not a 3D FX Voodoo card, which would have been really cool, but... You cannot have everything you want in life. And down here we've got a video capture card. So if you wanted, you could connect a camcorder up to this, or you could record your favourite TV programmes, or record yourself being stupid. And down here is the, um, the LAN card. It's not wireless. I almost said wireless, but it isn't wireless. As we can see, we've got the coaxial connection and the LAN connection right there. Now, you might have also seen a SATA cable on this. Now, this isn't actually part of this computer, but there's a bit of a story behind that. You see, Franken PC, which is the PC that I, my Pentium 4 PC, which I edit my videos on, unfortunately, the power supply on that failed one day, so I've had to commandeer the power supply out of this computer so I can run Franken PC again. Of course, that's back in this computer now, but the thing is, Franken PC as a SATA drive, so I just had to attach that onto this power supply, which is why well, it's here, but that's not actually in use on this computer. So, anyway, let's hook this thing up and have it roar into life. Okay, so here we are, ready to go. Now, some people might consider it blasphemy using an LCD monitor with an old relic like this, and this is really old, you can tell by how the plastic is yellowed. The thing is, I don't have the equipment to be able to capture the VGA signal and record it, so a camera pointed at the screen is about the best I can do. And as an LCD screen doesn't look flickery on a camera, that's really the best option. Alright, so let's fire this thing up. And to quote UXW Bill, smoke test! It's alive! It's alive! Is it doing anything? Oh, no, here we go. That does not sound good. Okay, why is it doing that? Um, I'll be right back. Okay, well, apparently, key 43, whichever that is on this keyboard, is apparently stuck. Although that would explain some weird issues that I've been having with my other computer. Although it's certainly booting. Listen to that hard drive. Yes, I've lost the side panel off this computer. I know it's around somewhere. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for this to boot and we'll be right back. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, and as Dave Jones would say, we're in like Flynn. So, here we are on the Windows 98 desktop and there's really not much here. Got an office shortcut. And I don't know what this little alien thing is. Is that anything? Foobar? The hell is Foobar? Okay, I don't know what that is, but yeah. As you can see, it's working, so that's... Man, now that's, a, that's what a hard drive should sound like. I don't have this connected to the web or anything at the moment. Let's just have a look at what's in the C drive. I've only, this is only a 6 gigabyte drive, so... Not going to be much in here. Um, let's have a look. C... Uh, program files? Let's see what we've got in program files. Any games in here? Oh, we have Winamp, apparently. Who uses that anymore? And a K-Lite codec pack. I wonder what version that is. I really don't know. Alright, so, I'm going to connect up the sound, and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I thought the first thing we'd do is try this with some DOS games. Now, we've got a disk of all old DOS games here, which I've copied onto the hard drive. I have no idea what we're going to... Well, I do know it's going to run them, but I don't know what kind of sound we're going to get, if we get any at all. So, let's, um, let's, put, let's run something. I know, let's run The Incredible Machine 2. I'm sure I'll be able to run this. Okay, well, we do seem to have some sound, and the game's running, let's try I've done this so many times, I know exactly what I'm doing. I haven't got any music playing, surprisingly. I don't know if that's, um... Okay, I guess we're not going to get any music, but... Do this thing. Excuse me, that's not what I wanted you to do. It's been a while since I played this. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of this and play some doom. Yes, there's actually a first-person shooter out there that I actually like. I'm going to turn the sound down a bit as well, because I didn't realize how loud I had this. <laughs> yep, hurt me plenty. I'm probably going to suck at this, but still. I don't know what the strafe is on this, I've forgotten. Is it deleting page in? I know there is a strafe. Somewhere, okay. Shift is move quick. Okay, it's alt. Shoot all bad guys. Better than I thought I would. Sorry if I'm getting in the shot. Oh, great. Now I'm out of ammo. Now what am I going to do? And to you too. Pick up a few supplies. And I'm done with that. Okay, so we've seen how DOS games work on this. So now I'm copying some games, some Windows games, from that disc that I talked about in the previous video, although this isn't that actual disc, it's a, cop a backup copy that I made of it today, you know, just for safety reasons. So I'll be able to see which of those games will work on this computer. I'm only copying the ones I think might work. Okay, uh, there we go, so, you know what, 
Let's install Nonsense 2000 because that's definitely going to work. I'm pretty sure this computer is going to be able to do it. This game is absolutely bonkers. Now this is one of the games that would not work on Windows 7. You know, I've tried installing it on my virtual machine and then copying those files onto my hard drive and running them that way. Still doesn't work. So let's see how well it works on this computer. music on this one. And it's FM MIDI. Proper MIDI. Am I getting in the way? I cannot see because I've got the screen on me. Okay, I'm not in the way. Sound effects are rather loud. Okay, I tried to alt tab out of this so I could get to the sound mixer, and now I've completely crashed this thing. Oh, yeah, look at this skill. I'm good. Are you shivering me? I'm trying it with some 3D games now. So far, Buggertron is the only one I've managed to get to work. And I've tried with some 3D games that worked on my old Windows 98 computer that has similar specs to this. So far, this is the only direct 3D accelerated game that I've got that actually works on this one. So I'll give you a little demonstration. This is sort of like a um, Galaxian Galica kind of thing. Because I'm just getting started. Apparently. Oh yes, I've got terrible aiming skills here. Okay, this time they die. They all died in the previous one. Earth is being invaded. I must protect it. They blew the earth up. Oh, they miffed about that. Alright, let's check out Super Awesome Adventure Extreme. You gotta say it like that. This requires very, very primitive hardware or it won't run. If I don't have a super awesome adventure extreme right now, I'm going to punch this man! Feeling angry? You need some kind of super awesome adventure extreme!
probably wasn't the best way to go because there's a big trap later on. This is the only computer I've, seen, I've had so far where this game has actually run properly. Oh, I hate this part. And that was Super Awesome Adventure Extreme! I can't be bothered to do the thing. And here we are playing Sonic Time Attacks, because let's face it, it wouldn't be a cool to clone gaming video if I didn't do something Sonic -like. As far as fan games goes, this is a pretty good one. Lots of nice details and stuff. I just missed an emblem, but I don't care. All the people... Hey Tails, how you doing? Wanna come follow me around this level? And now we're going to play Worms World Party with the best sound bank and the best teams ever. I'll put a run on this computer after all that. Well, that didn't work, so I'm playing Sammy Surrogate in Lion Land instead. And sucking very badly at this. It's a little heavier for this computer, but it's playable. Oh crap. Stop chasing me, I've got no way to defend myself. Well, I'm trying out the video capturing capabilities of this computer now. Now I've got my camcorder hooked up to the video input on this computer and as you can see as I move the camera around okay I don't know but that's absolutely messy you can see that's the picture from the camera it's coming through onto the computer and the frame rate is actually a lot better than what you're seeing here thing is I'm having to capture this with my tablet which does not have a very good frame rate when it comes to uh, well when it comes to its own camera and the trouble is, if I tr if I press record on my camcorder, the picture disappears, as you can see. So that's complicating things a little bit. I press stop recording, and the picture comes right back. So I don't really know what the deal is with that, but yeah, there's the keyboard, and there's the computer itself. Let me just move the camera back so you can see it. Um, hang on a minute, so get that out of the way. I'm trying to sort of juggle two cameras here, it's kind of difficult. Now I'm going to try and make a video, I'm going to try and record a video on this, so I don't exactly know how well it's going to work, but that's what I'm going to do right now. And this is what I recorded. Unfortunately, as you can see, it didn't go too well. The frame rate started out nice and smooth, and then it just dropped like a stone. Also, no sound. That's why I'm talking over this. Even though I had the line in selected on the audio mixer, and I had the line in selected on the video capturing software, still no sound. Sound recorder works, but not this. So, I don't know what the deal is there. So I think that's just about the best it's going to do. It really wasn't cut out for this kind of work. 
Anyway, that's just about it for the video of the Pentium 2 Windows 98 computer. So, that's it from me, and I'll see you next time. So, until next time, goodbye. And just for those of you curious about that Worms World Party voice pack that I made, well, here it is, running on a computer that actually will run it. Should have worked on that other computer, I don't know why. I think it's because I just simply copied the files over from my other computer and expected it to work. Although I tried that on another computer and it worked, so, um, yeah, I really don't know what the deal is. And if I find a way to upload this so you can modify the game yourself with this voice pack, then I will. But, anyway, enjoy. Let's switch it on and see if it works. So that's the first thing. Let's do it. Uh. 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 And check out that evil piece of work right there. Uh. 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 And that's pretty horrid. Let's switch it on and see if it works. Little. We're gonna tear your ass apart. I ain't having it. Oh. Oh. I ain't having it. God damn it. In the name of science. Oh. Piece of s. Got it. None. Goodbye. We better than you. He popped it. Let's go. <sighs> Whoop de doo! You made me be be be. No. In the name of science. No. Just you wait. I'm done. You all get yours. Let's switch it on and see if it works. Let's go. Whoop de doo. Why would you bother? We're gonna tear your ass apart. Oh. Let's go. Oh. We better than you. Let's switch it on and see if it works. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Still the world's shittiest. Don't turn it on. Take it apart.